Welcome to NewSky, I'm glad you're here. In this video I explain basics of the application and show you how to book and lock your first flight. Let's start explaining user interface from the top of the window. At the far left corner of the window you'll find the back arrow and NewSky logo, which is useful to toggle the left side menu. In the middle of the window you'll find two clocks, one in UTC time zone, second one in your local time zone. On the far right side of the top bar you will find the user menu, messages center and dark and light mode toggle. Let us now focus on the left hand side menu. Here you'll find your homepage, your airlines and flights, all the airlines in New Sky, as well as a map of all the flights currently in progress. At the bottom of the left hand side menu there is also a very useful link to New Sky Wiki. I very much encourage you to read it through before your first flight. Currently homepage is very bare bones. It only displays you your next flight or a possibility to book one, as well as your last flight, possibility to review its log. In the future there will be more features coming to homepage. My Airlines page shows you all the airlines you are currently a member of, along with your roles in those airlines. Above the Airlines list you'll find Create Airline button, but before you use it we encourage you to do few flights for New Sky Academy, to familiarize yourself with the system. If you already know the airline you want to fly for, you can head over to All Airlines page, search for it and join it. Until your request is approved, you'll see pending role on My Airlines page. After we've found airline to fly for, we head over to My Flights page, where you will see your all previous flights with their results and stats. To book a new flight, click Book Flight in top right corner of this page. When booking flight, we are faced with three options, Pre-Fly, Schedule and Charter. All three options are described in great detail on our wiki. For this demonstration, we'll choose Free Flight. And as our airline, we'll choose New Sky Academy because we are still learning. In the last step, we can select our flight number by entering it manually, or we can ask New Sky to generate a random one for us. Next, we have to select our departure airport. We can search it either by ICAO or city name. Let's use ICAO this time. We will be departing from Gdańsk airport. And for our arrival, we'll choose Munich. So let's search by city. Now we must select aircraft for this flight. Let's select A320neo, which we can find by entering its ICAO code A20N. NewSky will suggest by default a departure time of 10 to 15 minutes from now, but you can manually change it. Let's do that now. Let's set our departure time at 1 UTC. Your duration will also be auto-calculated based on your departure, arrival airport and type of aircraft you've selected. We can of course change it to let's say 1 hour and 40 minutes, as we, for example, expect some delays. If however you'd like to return back to auto-calculated duration, you can use this button here and it will calculate 1 hour and 25 minutes again. Now only thing to do is book your flight. Your new flight will show up on My Flights page, where you can create OFP, also known as Operational Flight Plan, using your SimBrief account. To do so, use clipboard icon that's labeled Generate OFP in SimBrief. After SimBrief generates your OFP, you can review it using I icon labeled Review OFP. NewSky previews all the data regarding passengers and cargo to SimBrief, so you will get realistic weights and calculations. It's also possible for airline managers to specify custom SimBrief profiles for their aircraft. Before starting a flight, you must be connected to your flight simulator. You can always review connection status in top left corner of the window. To start a flight, you must click on Start Flight icon. A pop-up window will appear asking you to confirm this action. Click Start Flight. After flight is started, Logger will appear in your left-hand side menu. 
where you can always review the current state of connection and what is being sent to server. To close your flight, you use the close flight button here in the top right corner of Logger. It will of course ask you to confirm this action. Your flight will then be rated and rating will be available on My Flights page. However, to view your full flight log, you need to click on the eye icon labeled Review Flight Log. This will bring you to Flight Review page, where you can check all the details regarding scheduled and actual departure and arrival time, flight duration, delay, distance, fuel and many many other statistics and results for your flight. Also, in the report section, you will see your rating and what were the deductions from your rating. If you want to learn more why points were deducted, you can click on the deduction and it will take you to our wiki page where you will find more details. Further down on the review page, you will find map showing your flight path, along with a altitude chart that will also reflect your current position on the path at the time you select. You can also enable other charts showing vertical speed, ground speed, indicator air speed, Mach and frames per second in case you need that. Below that you will find, as before, your operational flight plan from SimBrief if you chose to generate it, as well as a complete flight log. One cool feature of the map is that you can zoom in or full screen it and then you can check if you hit center line and your touchdown point on your landings and where were you going on the taxiways. Lastly, I'd like to show you live map, where you will see all flights currently in progress in New Sky. At this moment, there's only one flight going on from Gdańsk to Bergen. It's my good friend Wojciech. That's it for now. If you still need help, you can always visit our wiki at wiki.newsky.app or join our Discord server, where there are plenty of helpful people that will show you around. For now, book your flight, Take to the skies and happy flying!